In a last minute surprise hearing before the January 6th committee, a former White House aide described a first hand account of the events leading up to the Capitol assault. Eyewitness News anchor Siafa Lewis joins us with more on the blockbuster testimony today. Siafa, good evening. Yeah, good evening, Yuki. Front and center at today's hearing was 25 year old Pennington, New Jersey native Cassidy Hutchinson, a top aide to White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows. Hutchinson sat in on meetings. Her office was in the West Wing of the White House, down the hall from the Oval Office, and she swore under penalty of perjury on Tuesday about what she saw and heard leading up to January 6, 2021. There's a lot going on, Cass, but I don't know. Things might get real, real bad on January 6th. That is how Hutchinson's boss, Mark Meadows, responded when she inquired about the plans for January 6th, which she had heard then President Trump's lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, previously speak about. Something to the effect of, we're going to the Capitol, it's going to be great. The president's going to be there, he's going to look powerful. Perhaps proof that the White House knew ahead of time that the attack on the Capitol was not spontaneous. But more shocking still, Hutchinson testified that Meadows and Trump were both alerted of the fact that more than a few rally goers had guns. AR 15s and Glocks were named specifically. Now, despite this, Trump wanted metal detectors taken down at his rally so those with guns could make his crowd look bigger on TV. I overheard the president say something to the effect of, you know, I, I don't effing care that they have weapons. They're not here to hurt me. Take the effing mags away. Let my people in. They can march to the Capitol from here. She also testified about White House lawyer Pat Cipollone's concerns about Trump's insistence that he join his supporters at the Capitol following the rally. In the days leading up to the 6, we had conversations about potentially obstructing justice or defrauding the electoral count. Her two-hour testimony also included stories of Trump throwing and breaking dishes, overturning tablecloths when he was angry, and on January 6th, reportedly grabbing the steering wheel of the presidential limo when his Secret Service detail informed him they were not driving him to the Capitol. At that point, he reportedly lunged at his head of detail. Now, former President Trump took to his own social media platform and messaged that he hardly knows Hutchinson before disparaging her. And a source close to the Secret Service tells CBS News that both men in the presidential limo are prepared to testify that Trump neither grabbed the steering wheel nor lunged at either of them. In the newsroom, Siafa Lewis, CBS 3, Eyewitness News. Okay, Siafa, thank you. And we will always provide the very latest on the January 6th hearings. When we are not on television, we are always online at CBSPhilly.com and streaming at CBS News Philly.